hi welcome to my video and I, here i have miss tony gonzaga <laughs> to me <laughs> it's so formal but and it seems Baka like it's dahil naka turtle na ako, that's why it's so formal yeah but it's um it's not random that she's here i've actually known tony for 12 years and we've just, you know, built our relationship behind the cameras. How I got to know her, for those of you who are wondering, and how I got to know Alex was through my boyfriend, Patrick. Patrick is the brother of Paul Soriano. I met Winnie when I was still an orphan of Paul. And I first heard about Winnie. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> no, I first heard about Winnie, hey Alex. Oh, yeah. She told me that there's this girl, the friendly Patrick, na nakita ko sa prom uh, si Patrick a prom date na si Alex yeah he was the prom date and I was just trying to tapos makita natin yung mga pictures alam niyo si Alex oh, was they here yeah nung nag naging prom date siya ni Patrick dun sa prom nila sa IS akala mo siya yung taga IS <laughs> nung nakita ko yung mga pictures para yeah. siyang hindi visitor friends na niya lahat dun. yeah and then we met each other after when I started dating officially and then I got to know her eventually one step at a time because she's a lot a little bit older and uh, intimidating at the <laughs> <laughs> a little bit older look it's just the outfit <laughs> no but I feel like we're, no we're on the same wavelength uh, same wavelength pero ilang years pa to knock say like four five six wag mo nang sabihan kasi I'm hurt lang ako sige forget that question erase 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 <laughs> Yeah. Pareho kami ng first impression yeah. ng people around us or people who don't really know us. Mm -hmm. If I tell her, yung mga first impression sa akin ng tao, she would always say, Me too! Yeah, we have RBFs. Resting face. <laughs> and they were very reserved. Yeah. That's the proper Or like, it takes us a while to get more comfortable with others. Like, you have your alter ego, like your presence on TV, and I have mine on YouTube. So that's our outlet. Oh, Other yes. than that, it's more like... Because when I watch you also in your YouTube channel, when I see you dance, I say, that's not the Winnie I know. She's always so quiet and shy. But on her YouTube channel, she has an alter ego. Yeah, that's the telephone ringing. Is this the Krusty Krab? No! This is Patrick! <laughs> okay, so we're here in my studio, and she's been here a couple of times. So this is the first time we're filming together, and it's really exciting. We're gonna play a little game and this will help you understand what we're gonna be doing and why we're together. There's a purpose and there's a reason, a future. We're both going to answer it. I think it'll help you understand our personalities and that, you know, we're kind of similar in some aspects. No, pero hindi nyo alam, well, hindi pa talaga nila alam, na if I have another sister na parang ako talaga, English version lang. Yeah. Si Winnie. Aww. Super. Kasi kami ni Alex, total opposite. Pero kami ni Winnie, pero kami ng personality. So kung meron akong third sister, si Winnie na Thank you. Thank you. If I had a sister also, it would be you. Ah, yes, Winnie. Yeah, because I don't have siblings. So let's go with the very first question. Plan to plan when I'm a sister. Wow, that's really far ahead. Ako, I plan to enjoy the hard work that I put in all my life when I'm 60. I will just enjoy everything that I work so hard for. I plan on to keep finding things that interest me in life. I feel like I'm that 60. Of, yeah. I feel like I'm not that type of person who can just sit down and just not do anything. I feel like I'll still be doing something, but I'll be relaxed, more relaxed. I'll definitely enjoy yeah. what I have, but I'll probably be finding something else to do. And 60 is not old. Like, JLo's 50. And she still did hustlers. Yeah, yeah. And she still looked really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? So 60 is not that old at this point. You just have a senior citizen card. But they're not old. Yeah, you get to cut the lines. <laughs> <laughs> On my free day, I plan to that. On my free day, I you. plan to spend time with... Your cats. Oh, my cats. <laughs> Being alone. <laughs> Watching Netflix. You didn't have it so good, so I can't be alone anymore because I have seven in the house. So when, yeah. on my free day, I always plan something with seven. 
But usually we end up staying at home. <laughs> yeah, I guess just relaxing, right? Because we're both doing a lot of stuff and it's just kind of a mental break from all the things. And our home bodies also, you know, like, they really go out that much. Mm -hmm. Don't plan anything when. Oh, I don't plan anything when it's Sebi's birthday or it's Paul's birthday. I don't plan anything that is I, I'm sorry, I don't I don't plan anything for myself. But I plan oh, so I plan something for that. No, but I don't plan anything for myself when it's Paul's birthday or Sebi's birthday. It's all about them. I don't plan anything that's on that's already on my Google calendar. So if it's there, then I don't plan anything else. Like, everything is here. You can see my schedule. You can see. Oh, I like to write down my schedule. What I like to do is when I have the planner that I use, which is the everyday, and um, what I like to do is I like to write down my to-do list there, and most of the events are on my phone. So mm -hmm. then, that's why I just put it all in my planner. Yeah. The everyday planner. You have a red one. Because you have a red one. I don't like planning black. I don't like planning parties. I don't like planning. Um, I don't like planning I get huge group out. events. Yeah, I, I get stressed out with so much details. I like intimate parties, intimate gatherings, but when it's something big, like Sevi's party, it was all Paul. Yeah. Everything that happened there was all Paul's idea. Because the first one, oh my gosh, it was so stressful. Mm -hmm. After the smallest details. I remember it was really stressful. I don't like planning also big group events. Like I just feel like people at this day and age they like to ditch events a lot. Or like they can't make it in the end. So it's always disappointing when they can't go in the end. You know, I don't like the idea where you have to like ask them and follow up. Oh, are you coming? And RSVP. Yeah. <laughs> that was when it's the day of the event, they're not gonna show up because yeah. something came up in their life. And so. then you also can't get mad at them because they're adults, they're free to do whatever they want to do in their life. But at the same time, you made those reservations already. So. And you made the effort to make everything. This is sad. <laughs> okay. Okay. I like planning the grocery list. Therapeutic. Input. I like planning what to do, like for work. I think I'm a workaholic. Oh, I yes, enjoy you are. working. Yeah, feeling good. Yeah. I enjoy like the process of it. I enjoy growing, evolving from it. So I think like I like. Oh, uh, I used to be a workaholic. Like work for me is life. Like living for me is working. Yeah, <laughs> that was my life before. But when I had seven, kailangan pala it's different. You're changed. Yeah, it's different. You're not working anymore for yourself. You are just working for another human for being. another human being to give him a better future. And your work doesn't define who you are anymore. Mm -hmm. Parang naging office job na siya. It's something that I do from nine to five. Although yung trabaho ko in the entertainment industry hindi siya nine to five, but it's I I look at it that way. I go to work. And then when I go home, my work stays in my workplace. Because before, oh, every day, all day, every day is work. Mm -hmm. I can't relate. <laughs> when you have a kid, yeah. that'll be a while. <laughs> On the next one. <laughs> Bye, next. When it's my birthday, I plan like that. Oh, when it's my birthday, alam ni Polian, I plan to sleep in. I plan to relax. And not be stressed out. I just plan to stay home. Must relax. When it's my birthday, I plan to relax. When it's my birthday, I plan to go to a nice restaurant for myself. At yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care who goes. Um, no, I like because I have such a small family. It's just like me yeah. and my mom and my dad. So, but I did treat myself this year. Mm -hmm. My birthday treat was to go to Disneyland, and I. I booked a hotel and everything, and I was like, also a way to celebrate myself. Why? 30 you know? No. Not yet? 28. Wait, how old are you? 
35. Oh, that's not bad. 35, 30 is the new 20s. <laughs> it's still 30. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm very close to 30 also. No, because I think you want to celebrate. I want to do this big trip for myself. You should be 30. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, thought, uh, I thought you turned 30. But when I turned 30, you know what I did? I was just in my pajamas the whole day. I told Paul, malang celebration, malang surprise. I'm 30, I'm just going to relax today. Yeah, I didn't do anything on my birthday either. Everything went to that trip. <laughs> I want to celebrate myself. Oh my God. Self love. Self love. Treat myself. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. I actually like planning to clean my room. <laughs> You know what, it's easy for me to plan anything that has something to do with my house. Mm -hmm. When it's something about my house, I... Yeah, I like I like organizing or like making it even better. Mm -hmm. I just filmed a video today. Parang Martha Stewart, Martha Stewart. The spirit of Martha Stewart is inside of me when I'm planning something for the mm -hmm. house. Yeah, say so anything for the house. Me, I like, yeah. I like decluttering. I always like finding things that I don't need in my life. I feel like it makes me feel good. I don't want to compare myself to Marie Kondo. Because Marie Kondo is, does it spark joy? And that could relate to anyone. I could Anything could spark joy for me. Mm -hmm. But do you actually need it in your life? That's the bigger question. I feel like as you age, you're going to stream. You want to eat it all. Table and chair. Well, the chair is also. Everything in moderation. That's my philosophy. That's a philosophy. Na I'm sorry. Later theology. Na <laughs> okay. Well, the reason why we are talking about our plans is because we plan something that we want to share with you very, very soon. It's something very special. And we're just so excited to share it mm -hmm. to all of you. And that's the reason why we talked about planning in this video. But I hope it was interesting in some way. The questions also that we want you to answer for yourselves. Because planning ahead of time is difficult, actually. It's not a lot of people like to plan. It's hard to plan. Mm -hmm. But you know what? If you get into the habit of organizing your schedule, your life, and everything falls into place. I mean, like, it's easier actually mm -hmm. to manage your time and to manage work and personal life when yeah. you plan. Yeah, what we're gonna do is, the reason why we did that was because we wanted to announce something, but in the next video. So this is just us introducing ourselves, um, not behind the scenes, but together as, you know, partners. partners. So yeah, and stay tuned. You can guess in the comment section down below what you think we're going to be doing. See ya. Bye. Happy planning. <laughs>